Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be building a place that is going to be extremely overbuilt. I can go ahead and tell you that. I've been putting this project off just because I didn't want to dig the hole. So I'm hoping this auger is going to do the trick. Hey, they're going to be calling me to come build the border wall after they see this thing. My wife took her little girl to the park. I ain't drilling these holes till she gets back, okay? I'm going to make sure I get the okay. I can tell you right now, wherever I concrete these into the ground, they ain't coming up. I can promise you that. All right, guys, I got all my holes marked. It's time to start the drilling. Woo! Hoping this goes pretty smooth. This is the best thing I ever bought in my life. You talking about something worth the money? That sucker right there, I don't care if it lasts just this one project, it's worth it. Seven holes in 19 minutes, okay? And I took a Gatorade break, so. All right, I got the holes dug, so I just gotta get the poles in, get them all leveled up, go get the concrete, and that'll be end of day one. So that auger had an eight inch bit, and uh, you can fit a six by six in that perfect. I can already tell you my back's gonna be feeling this tomorrow. Woo! I don't think this thing's gonna be going nowhere, guys. Went and bought seven 12 foot six by sixes and I bought 20 two by fours just to get started. It's 300 bucks. That's not bad. I don't know how, but I always end up doing stuff by myself. I may be hard to work with, you know. All right, for my favorite part, let's get these plumbed up. Nothing I love more than plumbing things up, guys. Okay. That sucks. Hey, it's time for concrete. I got seven 80 pounds of concrete. Should do the job. Piece of crap water hose. Put your little concrete in there and put some water and a little bit at a time. Make your little mound around it so the water will run off of it. You gotta work it by hand, guys. Let that dry overnight and tomorrow we'll be ready for the fun stuff. We're back for day two. These suckers are in there. They ain't coming up. Y'all heard of Stonehenge? We have wood hinge right here. I got some line and then a line level. I'm gonna run this around it and get me a straight line. Then we'll run our cross beams across it. All right, we got our platform leveled off. This is the part I hate about stuff like this. What happened to the good old days? You just throw some stuff up there and screw it on, you know? 90 inches and a little tab under three quarters. What is that? Hey, I bought me a new skill saw. Hey, I'm building it. I gotta get something out of it, you know? Uh, like a glove. What y'all think about that, huh? Six by six on six by sixes. Shouldn't ever go nowhere, I wouldn't think. Let's put about 80 screws in it. Got some three and a half inch screws. Hey, watch me do all this and these kids won't even play on it. Probably playing in the dirt over there. Got me a little workbench now here. Oh, if I don't get a huge splinter in my hand, it's gonna be a miracle. Yeah. Oh, I cannot believe how level this thing is. I didn't ask my wife if this was a good height, so we're gonna cross our fingers. Either way, it is what it is, because I ain't moving it. Let's check it out. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, like a rock. I don't know the rest of the words of that song, but like a rock. In my shirt. That's what people call drip nowadays. When you're talking about drip, that's what they mean. You gotta be in with the lingo, you know. I'm not even halfway done with this project. My wife's already ordered a bunch of stuff for me to put cabinets up in our laundry room. I'm like, let me get finished with this, okay? Ooh. I usually don't get this lucky being level, okay? Usually it's uh, having to adjust pretty regularly, but I'll take it. You could throw your party on this platform. It's not going nowhere. I swear, I need a freaking... Oh, there we go. 
we're gonna have six by sixes and on top of that we're gonna have two by sixes should be a sturdy floor and that's gotta repeat the process you know all right i had to go change shirts that other one was drenched i got the platform done got all the uh pieces on there moving on to the uh bridge i'm gonna have a bridge with like a rock wall on the other side of it so should be fun anyways pulled my string i got my level on so it's time to get into this probably gonna get this done and call it a day it's hot okay it's gonna be sturdy but these things sure are heavy i'm taking it i ain't gonna argue with you level i'm calling it for today we'll uh, pick it back up tomorrow Whew. we're back for day three got a little rain at least it's not hot you know as long as we don't have no lightning let's get this bridge finished off at this point in the process we're just uh cutting and screwing cutting and screwing maybe asking yourself where's all your friends to help you well i ain't got many friends you know i got one ride or die friend i think the older you get the less friends you have uh ding maybe it'll fit oh yeah perfect i'm gonna start a new construction business close enough construction it's like a pirate ship you know walk the plank hey if i was a kid i'd have my bicycle up here jumping off this thing 100 percent here we go walk the plank go on, go on. you ever been in one of them trampoline parks we threw the kids there one time it's like an extreme trampoline park i jumped off like a i jumped off like a platform onto another trampoline my whole right side of my body froze up I thought I died. On this other side, I got like a big beam that I'm gonna put across for swings and stuff. So I guess I'm gonna do that next. I don't know how I'm gonna get this sucker up there, but where there's a wheel, there's a way. Hey, it took me about 30 minutes to get out of bed this morning. My back was uh, stiff, so I'm ready to get this project over with. I may have just built the world's best deer stand. Man, you can see everything right here. Here we go. Oh, God. Let's build it out of six by sixes. Freaking great idea. Oh, you son of a gun. I'm pronouncing myself an expert, you know. They should have had me build the Titanic. Ah! I need to put me one of those Ninja Warrior ramps up here, don't I? <laughs> Believe it or not, I have built one of those ramps. Me and my buddy in high school built a skateboard vert ramp too, so built all kind of crap. This is going to be a sucker to get up there. It's time to take the jacket off because we're about to do some serious lifting here. You got it. You got it. Let's go. Come on now. Ooh, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Oh my God. What do y'all think about that? Whoa! I'm gonna put about 800 screws in this, so let's get doing that. Whenever I was a kid, my dad put me together like a brainy swing set. He left a wrench. I took every bolt out of that swing set. He wasn't happy. All right, I'm glad that is done. I've been dreading that. Back for day four, still raining. I got the rock wall done. I just gotta put the little handles on it. I put some of these rails on, so now I just need to cut some pieces to go up and down here. So I guess I'm gonna start with that today. Had to go buy 20 more two by fours. I hope that is it. With all the wood and the swings and all that and the canopy we bought, I'm about $1,100 into this. So that's not too bad. We just gotta buy the materials, you know. Apparently my labor is free, so I don't know how that works. This thing is not perfect. There's a couple spots that's kind of a little bit out of square, but am I telling my wife that? No, I'm telling her there's gonna be scientists come measure this thing of how square it is. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's sturdy and nobody falls out of it, that's all that matters, you know? Do you believe in life after love, after love? Well, I got the rails on this side done. What y'all think? I don't think they're gonna fall through that. I say, why are you building it so big? Well. You gotta give 110% to whatever you do. That's why I can't drink. I give it 110%. We 
went to Huntsville, Alabama one time, went rock climbing. That crap's hard. All right, guys, we got us a rock wall. I like it. Added a couple up here so they can grab onto, so. Should be pretty good. My wife bought this hammock swing that she's wanting to add to the playset. So now I gotta figure out where to put this sucker at. I think I'm just going to add a brace with some angle uh, supports. That should hold it up, I would think. One way to find out, you know. So I got it level. Now I'm going to put a little angle brace in it. I hate cutting angles. Hate it. I'm just not very good at it, you know. I got it up there and it's still level, so I'm calling that a win, guys. Ooh. Well, if it holds me, it's going to hold them. Feel like I'm on a beat somewhere now. Seeing how I'm the heaviest in the family, we should be good. We're back for the final day. We're gonna get this thing finished today. After all this time, I finally got some help. Where you been at this whole time? Oh, I see you show up for the fun part, huh? I see how it is. What? I'm doing it right, okay? Let me get on there with you, huh? We're gonna take a nap. This is not the playset. What I'm thinking is, I'll pick you up and then you run that canopy over the top. What do you think? Where's your mama at? Are you gonna do like any actual work today or what? Ow! Well guys, I have lost my help. I had this canopy custom made by a guy in town, so it should fit. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. I'm talking about a perfect fit now. I done put this thing on here upside down. <sighs> my God. Can't have nothing. I knew it looked kind of weird. Straddle the fence here. I'm riding the bull here. Hey -ya! Check that sucker out. Oh, yeah. That should help with the sun, you know. It's time to add the slide. Get this thing centered up. I bought a couple lag bolts with some washers. Well, there we go. We bought this like rope ladder to go off the back here. Check out that drill bit, guys. You know, like during the week, I never eat breakfast. Then the weekend comes and I'm like fiending for some eggs. My wife makes these eggs. They're like all fluffy and delicious. Here I am making some like mummified eggs. I need to be like Gordon Ramsay. Gotta put a little creme fraiche in them. What the heck is creme fraiche? I'll probably eventually put me like a sandbox or some mulch or something under here so I ain't got a weed eat. I was trying to find a way to anchor this. I found these like dog leash things at Ace. Add some of these rock climbing things right here so they can grab onto it. Gonna add a couple rails right here on each side of the front. Whew. Got one side done. Whew, it's getting hot out here. My wife's worried about my little girl falling out of this thing. Whenever I was little, I jumped my bicycle off into a storm house. Busted my head wide open. Hey, I turned out okay. Now to think of it, that may be what's wrong with me. I bought just enough wood for this thing. I'm not even gonna have to go buy no more. I can't believe it. Well, I just gotta finish staining this and we'll have this thing whooped. The stain is half English chestnut, half colonial maple. What do you think about it? Yeah, you like it? We got this thing done, guys. Behold, check out this side. We may eventually put some string lights on it. That's what my wife said anyways. Here's the back side, guys. My wife found her a little kitchen on Facebook for free. Hey, free's always good. Well, thanks for watching and give me a follow and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.